In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at how we can create a connection request policy. A connection request policy is a set of conditions and settings that designate which radius servers perform the authentication and authorization of connection requests that NPS or network policy server receives from radius clients. So the first thing to do here is just launch up our NPS admin utility. And what we want to have a look at here is we want to then have a look at policies. So we'll just extend up policies. Within policies, what we're interested in here is the connection request policies. So if we have a look here, what we can see is we've got our virtual private network connections and we've also got use Windows authentication. And the wizard created these automatically when we specified the NPS role of this server in an earlier demo. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to right click on our connection request policies. We're then going to select new. Now what we want to do is just fill out our table. We're going to call this a date and VPN. Just on the type of network access, we'll click on our little drop down. And what we want to specify here is remote access server VPN dialog. Now that we've done that, we'll select next. On the specified conditions page, what we'll do at this point here is we'll select our add button. And what we want to do here is we just want to specify our NAS port type. So what we'll do here is we'll just scroll down, find NAS port type, select our add button. And then what we want to do here is this is going to be for a VPN. So we'll select VPN. We'll select OK. Then what we'll do is we select our next button. That brings us into our specified connection request forwarding. We're not going to modify any of this. We're just going to leave the default. So we'll authenticate requests on this server, which is our NPS server, and select Next. Then what we'll do under specify authentication methods, we're not going to change anything. So we're not going to override the network policy authentication settings. But as you can see here, we can specify things like PAP, CHAP, MS CHAP for our authentication. So we'll just select Next. We're not going to change any of these settings. So as we can see here, configure the settings for this network policy. We're not going to bother changing any of this, but you can see we can change things like attributes for realm names, radius attributes that we can specify here as well. I'm just going to leave all the defaults and select next. Have a quick look at the summary page. We're happy with everything in place here. We'll select our finish button. Now what we want to do here is we just want to move our date and VPN up a bit. So we'll just right click and click move up. So this is setting up our connection request policy. And what we're looking for, just to make sure this has definitely taken effect here, is we've got processing order is indeed number one. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration of configuring our connection request policy. Thank you.